Hi everyone and um, welcome to this uh, wrap up and presentation of awards. Well, it's been a fantastic three days and thanks to everyone who's joined us uh, for the ABF Conference 2021. And as you know, it's the first time we've held one virtually uh, in this very strange world we find ourselves in. And uh, having been watching the situation in Sydney uh, this last few days, it certainly um, just uh, reinforces our decision to go um, to go virtual for this year. Um, but it's not all bad. It's been absolutely fantastic to welcome uh, 2,100 uh, people from around the world and across the country um, with policy makers from government, with our clinical leaders from hospitals and people from the private sector and a great contribution from academia as well um, in, in the session. We've had over 300 questions um, from delegates uh, who've tuned in live and it's been a amazing opportunity for us here at IPA to hear these discussions and hear the questions that have been put to people around the world. Um, Stephen Duckett actually commented to me yesterday uh, just how impressed he was at the level of questions he was getting uh, in the ABF session uh, compared to when we started this uh, journey 10 years ago. Uh, one of the great other benefits of the virtual delivery is that uh, we've recorded all of the sessions and they're all online in the portal. Um, so you can watch them again, or if you had sessions you missed, um, you could watch them in your own time and the portal will be available uh, for the next. Um, you can also continue to use things like the Meeting Hub uh, during that time. So if you want to get in contact with someone you saw at the conference, uh, or if you want to get in contact with any of the IPA staff, I'd really encourage you to use that. And of course, um, we're still uh, live on the social media as well, using the hashtag ABF21. So now I get to move to the awards section. Um, and our first award is the Best Paper Award. And this was voted on by the Scientific Committee, uh, who reviewed a total of 42 abstracts this year. And I'm sure you would all agree, uh, the calibre of the papers that were presented uh, were extremely high this year and must have been quite a tough decision for the um, uh, the committee. Uh, but I'm excited to present this award um, and the highest score was based on uh, the contribution to advancing wider knowledge and understanding of ABF, um, having a clearly defined design, research aims and methodology, offering defensible findings and credible evidence and offering uh, topical content under the uh, conference theme. And so without any further ado, the winner of the Best Paper Award goes to Nikita uh, Kana, uh, who presented a paper called A Framework for Considering Financial Risk and Feasibility for Bundled Payment Intro uh, Introduction. Um, Nikita's paper discussed, as you can work out from the title, the introduction of bundled payments uh, to improve value-based care, uh, requiring financial risk to be accepted and distributed, and for the organisational aspects of fund holding to be resolved. So congratulations, Nikita, and thanks for joining us back on stage to uh, accept your award. Thanks, Jim, and thanks, ABF, for the opportunity. If you do want to hear more about this paper, feel free to contact me, and also we are on Twitter as well, <laughs> if you want to follow us there. We call it paying for value. Excellent. Thank you very much, Nikita. Um, the second award is the People's Award um, uh, uh, for Best Presentation as voted for by you, our delegates, um, over the last uh, three days and voting closed at three o'clock. Um, as you can imagine, very close. Uh, we had a number of uh, absolutely fantastic uh, sessions. Um, and so as voted uh, by you, the award goes to uh, Selwyn Button um, who spoke this afternoon on Indigenous health and the interplay between primary health care sector and public hospitals. So, and thanks very much for coming back to join us. I know you've had a really busy afternoon. You've got a full-time day job like the rest of us, um, but congratulations and thanks very much. It's the first time we've really um, delved into the Indigenous issues uh, in health at the ABF conference, and I think um, you, you really made a great contribution, so thank you very much. No, look, thank you. And, and again, most all of the, the research that was talked about in the presentation today is available on both the, the Institute for Urban Indigenous Health website and the Lower Institute website. So it's it's public available information people have a look at. So thanks again. 
Excellent. Thanks. Thanks very much, Sean. And hopefully, we can do some more work together in the future. Um, now, as many of you uh, I know understand, um, to run a conference like this, whether it's virtual or um, in person, takes a huge amount of work. Um, so, first, I'd like to thank all of the keynote speakers, um, the plenary, the concurrent speakers, um, and the panelists. Um, all of our MCs and the, um, the facilitator of our panel sessions, Sophie Scott. Um, also, a huge thanks to everyone who submitted a paper for consideration at the conference. Um, as I said, they're extremely high quality um, and they really do make all the difference. So for those of you who um, haven't uh, had a chance yet to put a, an abstract in, I'd really encourage you to think about that for next year's uh, conference. Um, Lots of people have been texting me and messaging me saying what a great uh, conference program we've had. And I text back and say, that's nothing to do with me. Um, that's the work of the scientific committee. Uh, and they really have worked incredibly hard uh, to put together a really great program in pretty challenging circumstances. So um, I'd like to thank all of them. Uh, our co-chairs of the scientific committee were Joanne Fitzgerald and Julia Hume here at IPA. Um, Liz Lee, Nicole Preddle, Christina Parrott um, from outside IPA all contributed their time uh, and I really appreciate that. And then internally we had uh, Sarah Neville, Sam Webster and Natalie Bryant. So thanks very much. Um, you can imagine there's someone behind the scenes pushing all the buttons to make sure the right picture is on the right screen at the right time um, and making sure I didn't break my laptop. Um, so thanks very much to the team at CONSEC, uh, Barry Neem, Abby Budge and Annabelle uh, McKee, who have um, made sure we're all in the right place at the right time and had the right bits on the screen. Um, lastly, but certainly not least, um, it's a really huge thanks to the HIPAA communications team uh, who really have been the brains and the brawn behind this conference, um, again, under very challenging circumstances. Um, so to Andrea Earle, uh, Anna Abbott and Ivana thomas kovi Kova, um, who worked really, really long hours and dealt with lots of issues. Uh, I really want to say a real heartfelt thanks to them. Um, so that brings us to an end. Um, hopefully you'll take the five or 10 minutes to complete a survey that will come out this afternoon um, over the next couple of days. Uh, we really do listen to your feedback um, and it does shape the program and the, um, and the delivery of future conferences. Uh, obviously this year that you won't have the perennial favourite of um, what the food was like, but there'll be lots of other things to, um, to give us feedback on. Now, hopefully next year, all going to plan, we'll be able to meet in person again. Uh, and we think that will most probably be in Brisbane. Um, However, I'm sure we will also be working to make sure we can preserve some of the really great benefits of an online conference, including having so many more people um, participate. Uh, as I said, over 2,000 registrations. I think our previous uh, highest registration count was around 700, and that was the year we hosted the international conference. Um, so we've had you know, just uh, a significant uh, increase in number of people participating um, especially from around Australia, but also internationally. So um, we really hope we can keep those bits together. So that's it from me. Um, once again, thanks very much for joining um, and uh, I wish you all the best uh, for the year ahead and look forward to continuing to interact with you all uh, in this very exciting time in activity-based funding. So thanks a lot.